Hey everybody, I'm on Super Magneto, and welcome back to Dragon, a game about a dragon. Alright, so now we're going to the Tower in the Sky, which looks like a UFO. Oh my god. What? Uh, is that ship firing freaking... <laughs> um... Dolphins at me? What? Oh no, robots! Oh, those things I can't even hit. So I wonder what this is all about. Exactly. Owie. Oh my I oh that's right, I have a crap ton of claw damage, that's what I remember. Uh oh. Oh, whoa, that's kinda creepy appear appearing like that. What? And then there's a screen? It's Mother Brain! Oh my gosh. Ah! Holy crap! What is this boss? Well, I guess uh, as long as I had a damage boosted, I did okay. Uh, penultimate weapon. Uh, as the name implies, it's the second strongest weapon in the world. At least it would be if it had been designed by an imbecile and wasn't completely unusable. Breath Recharge Plus. Blues and Greens Brothers is the achievement I just got. Okay, so... Yay. Oh, yay, I can upgrade my support. Okay, uh... There we go, I'm done leveling up, so for now, my acid strength is stronger. Woo. Um... God, there's some places I still need to collect things. Uh, so I'm gonna backtrack and try to collect stuff, so I'll be right back. Aha! An object way up here at the top of this tree that ate me! So what are you? See, this ruby can reflect all light, but I'm not... I'm not really seeing it. 10,000 GP. Holy crap, you guys. Wow. <laughs> Dang. Oh, I guess it's time to end the level. Yay, my support's at max level! I got 21 HP now, woohoo! Aha! So I had to freeze all the other water things to get to this, okay. Wishing Star Garnet. A still stone made with a wish. I want to shine! And now it gets to uh, as a dragon's paperweight. 5,000 GP. Huh. Okay. There's still something un ungotten in toxic territory? Oh, I see. I have to quickly get to a spot and then go down stair like and then get to the knight. Oh, that's just not fair! Almost there! Yeah! I got it! 17th Sunset, or not actually 17, but I wanted the alliteration. A play by Lord Stratford. Squires often wear yellow socks because they erroneously think the book is saying that this will help them pick up chicks. And somehow the release of my breath duration being up. Wow, that's all it took? M Momiji Helm. The helmet belongs to the titular whirler from the tail of the Momo uh, Momiji. Momiji. The novel describes him as someone who just wanted to be like, chillax and hang out, man. My breath damage is up. Woo. I think to open this chest, I think I understand what I need to do. I need to not attack any uh, kind of creatures, and I just need to take out the enemies. Like anything hostile. Okay, I guess I didn't have to take out all the enemies, but whatever. Yay! Directions for disciplining your dragon. A box, a box set of Dragon's favorite children's bookstore series. He originally picked it up because he thought it sounded like it was going to be kind of dirty, but you can't win them all. All right, let's go to Coast of Dragons three. Oops. 
Oh, so close to leveling up, too. So, let's see what this is all about. It's more underwater stuff, but... Hello, knight. Nice boats. What? Oh, come on, no! Really? Why are the sheep back after me? What? Okay, that was stupid of me. But what was that? What? What? Oh, hey, level up. So now, what just happened? <laughs> I am clueless. Okay, seems so below me it is just doom. But don't worry, can I skip everything? Um, I'm wondering if it was a good idea for me just to stay on the bottom. Well, there was nothing on the bottom for me, so it's time to run through it again and see if I can find any collectibles. It's just. Wait, like games like these and in levels like these, you know, where there's like so much different pathways. It's like, it's hard to choose what one I should try to go through first, you know? Leave me alone, sheep. I'm innocent. I've done nothing to hurt you. Oh, something appeared down below. What is that? Cloak of Gusts. The capes. The cape of some pirate captain you probably never heard of. Apparently, his ship's flag features a skull and cross kitchen utensils. Flight up. Okay, cool. So I just sit there and listen to him while I, uh. And then I just get my flight up. Sweet. Alright, now I can fight the Admiral, or I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the Coastal Dragons Fort before fighting the Admiral. Because, yeah. Whoa. What? Multiple ways to go? Okay. Hey look, it's a yen that they're... Easy there! Friendly? Cool. I made it friendly, I guess. What are they doing? Oh, so my friendly breath, do breath does work on them. Nice! Aw, oh, why can't I open that? I don't get it. No dragons, huh? So what am I supposed to do? Um, um, uh... Oh, he's getting showered on. No, poor guy. Those guys with the guns, they're like, they're immortal. Really sucks. Hey, there's another exit. Well, this uh, power pickup wasn't hard to get. Diligence and deduction, an anthology of one of Dragon's favorite characters in literature. It details the adventures of an intellectual hero at the dawn of the modern era. Okay, cool. Well, maybe I need to fight the Admiral before I get the other power up here. Other pickup, you know what I mean? Well, let's go deal with the Admiral and play the story. Dragon slithers across the deck of the cruise ship. He's pretending he's like the hero from that stealth action video game. You know the one. It has giant robots and the guy with glasses and long hair who loves samurai swords. Uh. Uh huh? This doesn't last very long, though, because the Admiral catches him almost instantly. What are you doing here? How'd you get aboard? She demands. Oh, it's a girl. Okay. Dragon doesn't say anything. He ducks his arms in his neck and in like a turtle. Maybe he thinks this is like invisible. Do you think I'm blind? Stop that! You look ridiculous! The Admiral gives Dragon a hard look. Wait a second. Purple wings? Glasses? You're the Dragon that he told me to watch out for! You're here to steal his barrier orb! She pulls out a radio and makes a quick call on it. Artillery and radars start popping up out of the deck. This isn't a cruise ship, it's a secret weapon. Holy crap! Well, 
Do you like it? I bet you wish you didn't want the barrier orb now. Your little claws wouldn't even be able to scratch my ship's paint job. Oh, boy. Well, no, but I have acid breath. Oh, I see. I have to make the missiles do their work. Okay. Princess Makalowaka. Uh. Makalo. Kawaka? What? Damn! That's an attack if I ever saw one. So this bottle is just. Letting the boss hurt itself. Hurt herself, okay. So this isn't a very interesting battle at all, really. And I think the ship's destroyed. Yay. A huge explosion rocks the ship. The passengers below deck scream in panic. The sound is satisfying to Dragon. What? He likes the pit sc screams of the fear of... He likes those uh, screams of fear? I thought he was a good guy. It really speaks to the ancestral part of his brain back when dragons used to terrorize villagers for fun. Oh. Hmm. Okay. This person also knocks the Admiral off her feet. She drops the orb and she tries to after it, but it rolls off her perch right into Dragon's hands. Dragon drives off the side of the ship and swims off as Admiral spits curses after him. He doesn't really care though and, is only, and this only makes her madder. <laughs> the voice gets quieter the farther dragon the farther away dragon swims. Do you have any idea how much of the villagers' money this ship costs to build? They're getting so gonna be mad at me. <laughs> the Admiral's rage floats away into the sky like the smoke coming out of the ship's side. Dragon was very close to thinking something cheesy like I guess the beach isn't so bad after all. Then his jellyfish latches onto his tail and stung him. Wow, okay. There's a tower there. I, I, that's, there's got to be a secret way to get into there. All right, let's see if I can get that thing from the Coastal Dragons Four now. Oh, hey, the door opens now. Cool. Dragon's favorite plant: Aloha shirt. An incredibly gaudy shirt featuring dragons, uh, surf, or surfboards, pink clouds, and of course, the favorite plant of all dragons. It's such an eyesore that you'd have to be a dragon to like it at all. Huh. Okay, so I'm done here now. Well, it doesn't seem that I can do anything to get over to that tower. Maybe... I don't know, maybe I'll head to the uh, barrier zone to see what happens. Alright. So I just unlocked the castle approach. So. Well. Let's get on with the castle approach. Nice music. I like how the castle looks like it's, uh. Um. Old timey. But at the same time, it's, uh. Modern. Like, what the hell? Hey, it's a pipe store! Like, tobacco pipe store. There's nothing here. I wonder if I have to start the car. <laughs> like, electrocute it to start it or something, you know? And we're back up to here now at the castle area. Whoops. Uh, I guess I just bypassed pretty much the whole level. I don't think I wanted to do that. <laughs> so, I'm gonna backtrack. The final battle. No, I want to do the castle approach again. There's mu stuff I missed. Uh, let's start this from the top up. Okay, you do nothing. I don't get your purpose. I don't get what I'm supposed to do to try to get everything, you know? This level is confusing. Oh, I get it. I gotta freeze him here and then go all the way around. Actually, you know what? He's probably frozen there for good. So let's just go around here and get this. Yeah! Royal Ring! 
a ring that had the great misfortune of being set with stones that clash so bad you don't even want to look at it. It belongs to the king, so it's a fair bet he'll be, co he'll be cross over time. Restoration up. Okay, cool. So there's that. So I don't get what's below then. Is it just like supposed to be a quick way to get through the level? That's only thing I can figure. And how do we get up there, you know? No, I don't think there's anything up there anyway. We. This is fast travel, my friends. Aha! There it is! Dream Dust Scepter! A replica of the Dream God's favorite staff. It's a fine weapon, no matter if you're fighting a Nightmare Kings or suspicious stone faced secret servicemen. So that was there! Okay, that's why I needed the car. And so with that, I shouldn't need anything more. Uh, I'm an eye. I shouldn't need to get anything more here, so yeah. All that's left for me to do is level up my stuff to max, so I might as well take care of that really quick. I'm still not done with Castle Approach? Okay. <laughs> well, ain't that grand. Okay, I'm ashamed at this point, you guys, that I had to look up a YouTube video of what to do. I had to do that. Am I supposed to freeze your shit now, or what? Oh, friendly breath. Okay, I gotcha. I don't think I would have ever figured this out. A diamond. You might have forgotten the name. There are no expected stories surrounding this chunk of carbon. It's a huge stone, though, so at least it's worth a ton of cash. 12,000 GP. I think this might give me enough to actually fully level up. And the achievement is called the Sly Eagle. Hmm, okay. I max level of everything. Haha. <laughs> so I, I think I'm pretty much done with the game except this final battle. Let's play the story and find out. At last, Dragon has made it to the throne room. The king looks especially relaxed even though he doesn't have any knights around to protect him. He says, he says I didn't think you'd uh, be in a position to make demands. That was a question, not a demand? If our dragon can even think of a clever one-liner of a comeback, a pack of ninjas jump out from behind the pillars and, and curtains and surround him. Do you like them? He asks the king. One of Edry's suitors gave them to me. He hesitates. Well, three of them. The only ninja smiles goofily. He is just a freeloader who tags along with them. <laughs> but even he's pretty good. Now then, if you would, be so kind as to let them show you to the door. Says you. No way. Oh, can I kind of freeze those projectiles in midair? Nope. Okay. So what happened to the red guy? He's just, like gone. That's weird. I used a friendly breath on the red guy, and he's just all of a sudden gone. Well, there goes the purple guy. Oh, the purple ninja. <laughs> the friend breath hurts him? Huh. Alright, so all that's left is the yellow ninja. And, oh, he just left. Okay. <laughs> Demands dragon. He doesn't sound quite as patient this time, and the king doesn't look quite as confident. Alright, alright, she's in the tower by the ocean. You, could probably, you probably saw it earlier. So that's how I would get there. If that's all you came for, well, you got it. Just just get out! The dragon does exactly that. He was never here to gloat. And we're supposed to go like this. I don't want any dirty, scaly grandkids. Dragons are the worst! Wait a second. I can fix this. I still got my knight. I'll stop that dragon. You'll see if I don't. Oh, really? Okay, sweet. Final island. So, okay, so there was a way to get there. I just. Dragon gets to the island just as the late afternoon sets in. The general is waiting for him. Dragon really isn't in the mood to fight, but at least he said the 77 makes things look theatrical. What's good, Dragon? says the general. But he probably expects me to fight you or something. But I'm not really feeling it. Dragon nods in agreement. Oof. 
Tetsu. Remember when we were kids and we do that Knight vs. Dragon play fighting? Hurrah! Well, if you wanted to, you know, nobody's ready to see us embarrass ourselves, and I hate to let the samurai move so movie so sad go to waste. Dragon grins hugely. Just, uh, just don't hit too hard, okay? I got a hot date tonight, and I'd rather not spend it in the hospital. So, we're gonna play fight to the... We're gonna play fight, okay. Did I do a bad? Jinma makes a show of limping away, and Dragon runs past him to the tower. He really isn't looking forward to walking up the stairs, but then... Would you? Uh, suddenly, a metal fist the size of a man shoots out of the ground. Dragon jumps out of the way just in time. Oh no, he was so close! The sad hand soon followed by the rest of its body. A giant robot knight. The king sure is persistent. Uh, whatever he says and growls dragon. Forget it! Do you think you get off that easily? Well, guess what? This is a subpretentious space opera that thinks it's too good to have a final boss. Come on, Night Tank. Let's, let us, let's slay us a dragon. Ooh, he means business. Oh, man. What do we do? Holy crap, three hits? Three life? Oh, my God. What a beast of a fight. Um... What? I'm confused. Did I win? I think I won. Yay! The moon and the stars and me. Go, Dragon, go! It's pretty warm in here. Jeez. <laughs> Poor guy. You've been through a lot worse. How are you getting so tired? <sighs> Hermit says Dragon Avenue. He's trying really hard to sound like he is, which really makes him sound even more exhausted. But give me a minute. I'm almost finished reading this, says his girlfriend. Dragon Sword's just. I'm just giving you a hard time. You sure took your time, though. My handheld ran out of juice, and Dad didn't install any electrical outlets here. Uh, that's true. It's going automatically. I can't read it. She gets up and walks over to Dragon and to give Dragon a big kiss. It's one of those. Okay. <laughs> But there's a picture here because that would be a poor taste. Just kidding, I'm really happy to see you came for me. I love you, Dragon. Rah, rah, rah. Okay, that was it. I'm so glad I can understand Dragon Common. Hmm. Well, that's cool. Yay! The princess climbs on the dragon's back and then fly out the window. Oh, and the fight you had was so manly. <laughs> dragon is mortified. Yeah, but it, he won't last very long, will he? I mean, a splash? It's so beautiful, says Mrs. No, 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 says Dragon. This is kind of a longish. Trolls rise the last. Yeah, I guess half moons do look like tacos. You know, they're still the same, the same old dragon even after the an adventure like that. <laughs> Actually, I had some before, before Dad kidnapped me. It's a secret between us only, okay? His his fins perk up and pulls it close so she could tell him. Hmm. Looks happy. I wonder what you told him. Yeah, tell us. Can't, well, we know. We probably won't know. You're gonna be. You're gonna be like that. You're just gonna keep it hidden away from us for forever. Just leave everybody to their to guess. Oh. Uh. Are they playing with the Wii? <laughs> Okay, so this is what's what do everybody's doing afterwards. Wizard's just high as a kite. Oh, maybe even higher. <laughs> I 
I can't see that. I'm just, I can't identify that face. And there's the theme music. Alright, so yeah, that was a really fun game. <laughs> I enjoyed it. So I wonder if there's anything extra afterwards. I can't skip the credits, so uh, I'll have to cut it for you guys so you guys can see. Okay, haha! <laughs> Check that out! They had kids! Yay! Dragon hybrids! Dragon human hybrids! Remember I would read... Oh... 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 I'm out of lots of words now, you guys. Just seeing that last little bit at the end for my bro, it just... I... I, I don't know what to say. I, I'm I'm really sorry. I love the game and all. It was all well done. And then there's just that happens. It's just like well, with that, you guys. I think I am going to call it. Whew. <laughs> I was really excited now for the ending, and then I, yeah, I just I can't get that out of my head now. I don't know what to say, so I'm just going to go do my normal outro. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed the playthrough. Until next time. Can I not actually do anything here yet? Huh. I guess I can't do anything at the Wizard's Tower yet. At least I don't think. You know, I can't help but feel like I need to set an extra jump or something. Or something.